Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumper here. Just doing a quick video today because I'm going to go over to HMV and try and hit up this sale a little bit. I did get some 101 stuff out of the bin last week, but foolish me, I didn't even realise there was like a whole stand behind me of um like 4Ks and Blu-rays and everything else for sale. It wasn't until I watched Movies with James Hall video yesterday that I realised there was loads more stuff that I should be getting. So I've come over here today, now Tuesday, obviously it was a bang holiday yesterday so it wasn't open and we're going to have a little look through the sale stuff and I'll try and get some footage for you. Okay, peace. Okay, so here we go then, the big sale. So we got a Kira, $30.99. Drop the Great Gatsby on the floor. Good start. The Tenet Limited Edition, $40.99. Full Metal Jacket there. Mission Impossible set. Turtles, two out of the shadows. The Spider-Man triple. The Venom double, 25 quid. Mm. Now this is nice here, this Stanley Kubrick set. $24.99 from 50, so half price. I'm not sure if these are all 4K, but if they are, that's an absolute bargain. We got Wonder 999, Pacific Rim, the second one. There's a steel book for the first one. Is that First Man with Ryan Gosling? Shazam 30.99 for a steel book, not bad. The Forever Purge, The Great Wall, pretty decent with uh, Mark Wahlberg. Rambo, Last Blood, the newest one of Tanner. Dracula Untold of Tanner. Here's the super duper deal here, Wizard of Oz, $19.99. I paid 60 quid for that first 4K I ever bought. Anna for $9.99, Patriots Day with Mark Wahlberg. American Assassin with Michael Keaton. Whoop, threw Mark Wahlberg all around the place there. Then we got some cheapy kids ones here. Emoji Movie, £3.49. Smurfs, £3.49. And the Smurfs 2. £3.49. Okay, so they're super duper cheap. Mummy Returns, £9.99. Uh, Batman vs. Soups. Uh, emoji again. Brightburn, £7.50. Pretty decent film. If that had a slip, I think it'd be a no-brainer. Uh, it Chapter 2. Skyscraper with Dwayne Johnson. Star Trek Beyond. Power Rangers. <clears throat> the Brilliant Schindler's List. Jupiter Ascending with the slipcover as well. Point Break. If that was the original, I'd be all over it. But the remake, no thank you. Dark Tower, £7.50. Uh, it's always been quite cheap that one, has, hasn't it? So probably get even cheaper than that on Amazon. Hunter Killer. I've never seen that film. Um, Fifty Shades Freed. Feels quite weighty, that box. So a couple of discs in there. Maybe a booklet and whatever. I'll never find out, though. Uh, the most recent Hellboy with David Harbour. In the Heart of the Sea, the Ron Howard movie with Hemsworth. The Doors, fifty ninety nine. That's good. Sicario 2, not as good as Sicario 1, but hey home. Angel Has Fallen, The Phantom Thread with Daniel Day-Lewis. La La Land, nine ninety nine. I think that's probably it with the 4Ks, because these are all DVDs here. There's basically instantly oh, five ninety nine. that's the DVD though. Shame that wasn't the 4K, I'd have been all over it. All right then, so that's all the 4Ks. We'll have a little look through the DVDs and the Blu-rays. So we got Looking for Lennon, uh, Sick Boy, one ninety nine. I have heard of that horror. Don't know if it's any good or not. How Green Was My Valley? Mm. <laughs> Sounds a bit rude. Um, there's some other standard stuff here. Black Mirror, some 101 horror, one ninety nine. Uh, Hellboy, The Dawn, Vlad the Imperlar, Heat Beyond the Law. Iron Sky 1 and 2 double pack. Wolverine 2 film collection there. A Western collection is the full 10 seasons of NCIS Los Angeles for 50 quid with LL Cool J. Didn't know they'd done so many. Oh, look at this house party. This is probably my all-time favourite movie. That's the one movie I can quote from start to finish. There's some Jaws there in a nice retro VHS box. Rabid, which is the Soska Sisters remake of the David Cronenberg classic. Um, Beast Within, Fight Club, All Hallows Eve, 101. I think that's the first time Art the Clown turned up in a film, that All Hallows Eve. Come to Daddy with Elijah Wood, pretty good film. Michael Smiley as well. Pearson, that's a really good movie. And got some Spider-Man cartoons here, 1.49. I say I like my cartoons, old school, drawn with a pencil. 
Got 300, Rise of an Empire. His old boy there, the Tartan Asia Extreme version. Pretty decent. Notorious. Dollhouse, can't say I've ever heard of that. 101 now, so it could be alright. Lost Boys Trilogy box set. Just get the Lost Boys in 4K, please. That's all we want. House on Cemetery Hill 101. Some old school Transformers. Uh, there's a cool um, Disney one there, Tangle, two ninety nine, not bad with a slip as well. Uh, this is a good film there, The Windmill Massacre. That's a Dutch um, pro production, really good film though. Probably couldn't get that on Blu-ray either, so it might be worth it. The Siren, that's a Fright Fest present presents. So that film showed at Fright Fest, which is a horror movie festival in London. This is the end, 99p. <clears throat> I already own that film, but what a bargain for 99 pence. The laughs you will have watching that. Angel Heart. We Summon the Darkness with um, Johnny Knoxville. As Above, So Below. Very underrated fame footage movie. One of the best ones. On the bottom shelf here then. Um, where have we got? Uh, Bill Fredkin um, documentary. Director of Exorcist. And loads of other good films. The Devil's Doorway from 101. God, 101 to play some crap on DVD, mine. Fair play. It's Hall Hallows Eve again, but I think that's the sequel. I don't know if Art the Claim would be in that one or not. Old School Coming to America there with the VHS cover. Pretty cool. Um, Smoke and Aces 2 movie collection. Some usual titles here. Then we've got... Goldberg's Complete Seasons, I think. Hi, right, Inspector Gadget, two ninety nine. Wicked that is. Might pick that up. Um, more of the same year, really. Uh, Mission Impossible box set there, fifty quid. Supergirl complete set, fourteen ninety nine. House of Evil. There's a DC collection there. Wonder Woman, Justice League, Man of Steel, and Batman vs Superman. Some box sets of Walking Dead. This is a good one. Team Wolf. All the seasons. Not a bad film. Team Wolf. Uh, excuse me. Obviously the film's good. But the TV show's not bad either. The Nest. Can't say I heard of that. I don't think. What have we got here? Beyond the Law with DMX and Seagal. And there's Blood Diamond. Such a great film with DiCaprio. Uh, there's a Batman and Superman double pack there. The old films from the 80s, Dark Crystal, Westworld uh, box set, uh, Dream House with um, Daniel Craig, uh, Series of Adventure Time, it's another Adventure Time, when my kid was growing up and always watching it, well my one kid, um, 101 year, Pay Dirt, it's got a nice slip, Luke Goss and Val Kilmer, can't say I've heard of that to be honest. Take Back, another 101 action film with Mickey Rourke. Uh, Grave Encounters, that's a good fame footage horror as well. What have we got here? Uh, oh, The Monster, I've seen that. That's a slow burn, good horror. The Siren's okay as well. I think we looked at that earlier though, for the Fright Fest Presents ones. Monster High uh, box set, plenty of kids' films here. The Joker, Ninjago. They got this one here, the Banshee chapter. I remember seeing this at a film festival about 10 years ago. Um, really good deal for $1.99. Um, that movie, I don't think you could get it on Blu-ray, so I might be picking that one up. Just some standard titles. Is that coming to America again with the VHS cover? <laughs> then we got Midway. The very best James Stewart. Iceman, I picked that up in a charity shop not so long ago. The Damned United. Final score with Dave Batista and Ray Stevenson. Not a bad cast if you're into your action. Lego Chima box set. I remember when my oldest son was in the Lego Chima. Yeah, pretty decent. Uh, Curiosity, Wired Shut. The Haunting, Pandemonium, Face Off. Uh, there's a Mr. Bean collection, Back to the Future. Um... Wildling, I've heard of that. I think this is a werewolf film. Supposed to be pretty decent. Oh, True Detective, complete first and second season. That's not bad. Um, Orange is the New Black box set. The Saw box set. 
uh, Twilight, bring it on, Children of Men, fantastic movie. Um, yeah, Gavin and Stacey, The Complete Collection. What's this, Twins in an Old School Case, pretty damn decent. American Horror Story, Lucifer. Gotham, The Complete Season 2. Uh, Penny Dreadful, I think that was. Bad Boys 1 and 2. 499 is pretty decent, even though I'd probably get it on 4K. Is the Iron Sky double pack on Blu ray? Assassination Classroom. Can't say I've ever heard of that. We've got the two Olympus movies, or three Olympus movies, is it? No, two. Some Halloween Gridlocked with Tupac and Tim Roth. Uh, Genlock, some animation. The Last Jedi, no, thank you. Uh, War Dogs, Winchester. We got this from 101, Prom Night, Old School Slasher. Tarantula. Looks like an old school movie. The Vanishing with Gerard Butler. Uh, there's a steel book there. Batman and the Turtles or Jumanji, the next level. Ghost Stories. Now, this is a good film. Andy Nyman. Really good film. They turned out to a stage show in a, in London as well. That was really good. So, yeah, Ghost Stories. If you've never seen that, you've got to check it out. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, the boxer. Come to Daddy again with Elijah Wood. Uh, Michael Smiley's in there as well. Pretty good film. Red Con, I see my man. Ash over at Popcorn and Horror. Um, add that one. Pick that one up in the sale. The, the Night Of, Season 1. The Grifters on 101. Again, I think Ash picked that one up. I could be wrong because I watched so many horror videos lately. I don't know where I am. Alien Nation, yeah, not too bad. The Colossus of New York, that looks pretty cool. Back to the Future with an old school cover. Something there called Crypto. Mm -hmm. We got FX, Murder by Illusion. That's on 101, I think. Uh, ID2, Shadow Army. I always remember ID1. I don't think I've ever seen the sequel. Um, Slaughterhouse Rules, I've seen that. Simon Pegg's in there playing a stoner school teacher. It's quite funny. Uh, there's our vanishing again. Secret in their eyes. That's pretty good. But I recommend checking out the South American original. It's a little bit better than the American mm -hmm. remake, as always. Then we got some Downton Abbey. Slenderman. Uh, Carlinio was saying how awful that movie was on one of his videos I watched earlier. So can't see me picking that up. Um, Red Joan. Can't see I've heard of that. Um, what else have we got here? Robert the Bruce. Four Lions, that's pretty funny if you like comedies. Got some with, films with Slipshire, The Missing Link, Sicario mm -hmm. 2. Mm -hmm. Three From Hell, Bob Zombie. Um, yeah, 3 99 still not going to convince me to buy that. Some Wonder Woman animation, some Hellboys with a slip, La La Land, The Missing Link again. Moneyball, 44 inch chest with Ray Winston. Uh, there's a good film there. Blood Father with um, Mel Gibson. Good action film. In the Heart of the Sea. But that's the 4K. Just in the wrong place. Uh, Leave No Trace with Thomas and Mackenzie and Ben Foster. That is supposed to be a really good film. Holmes and Watson. The worst film ever made. Um, there's Dolls there from um, Stuart Gordon. Really good film. I've seen the two-pack biopic then. All Eyes on Me. The Night Of. It's a good TV show with Riz Ahmed. Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. So we're just about done then. So I'm going to pick what I want and then we'll get back to the car or back to my house and um, see what pickups we got. Okay, so I'm back at the car now. <laughs> 90 pound lighter than when I went to HMV. I wasn't expecting to spend so much, but I also wasn't expecting to find what I found. I did drop a bollock a little bit, which I'll explain to you when I get home. I was going to show you all the stuff in the car, but I think I'll do a, um, not an unboxing video, but just go through it all on my unboxing table, just to give you a better look. I got one, what I think is a super duper duper deal. So I'll see you soon. Okay then, so we're back home now, and we'll just have a little look at my pickups here. Okay, we'll start off with the one DVD I bought. Couldn't resist this, okay? This is my favourite um, comedy movie of all time could even be my favorite movie of all time I know it word for word I've seen it 100 plus times no doubt absolutely love it never had a blu-ray release in the UK 
certainly wouldn't be getting a 4K. Um, so I'm just happy to have it now on DVD because I have got a copy somewhere, but the disc is just scratched to hell. So £2.50, Kid and Play, House Party, just an awesome title to have in my collection. Okay, then we got some Blu-rays. First one I bought is this action movie with Mel Gibson, Bloodfather. Not going to win any Oscars, but I love this film. I like Mel Gibson. I'm glad he's had a bit of a resurgence in his career. But yeah, this is the best one of his new movies. This one and The Gringo, or Get the Gringo. This is really good. Uh, it's got William H. Macy in it as well. And it's about Mel Gibson, his daughter's murdered by um, the Mexican cartel. And he goes after them. I think she's murdered. She's either murdered or she gets in deep with them. But um, yeah, really good film, Bloodfather. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Then I got this film, Leave No Trace. Okay, I picked this up because Thomas and Mackenzie's in it. And ever since seeing her in Last Night in Soho... Um, you know, I want to check out more of her stuff because I thought her performance in that was fantastic, really hypnotic. So, um, yes, you've got good screen presence, good charisma. So this is really well reviewed. It's done all the festival circuit. So, yeah, for £3.50, um, thought I'd take a chance and that's Leave No Trace. Uh, this is a movie just to really add to my hook collection. I've only ever seen it once. I remember it not being that great, but I'll give it another go. It's got a slip with it and everything. Um, it was only three ninety nine, so that's the two pack biopic. All eyes on me. Okay, this one wasn't in the sale, but it has got a bit of a price reduction. I meant to grab this the other week when I done the um, vampire sale, but it went out of my mind when I got to the shop. So that's border. All right, this is based on a story um, written by wrote by um, John. Adjavid Lindqvist. I just had to have a look at his name on the case there, but he wrote Let the Right One In as well. So not the director of the movie, but the novelist. And Let the Right One In is one of my favourite movies. And I've heard this is fantastic. My boy Tony over at Horror and Todd, he said this is really good. So, you know, when he says it's good, it's probably going to be. And this is a movie release, so I'm going to get Lamb. I've got um, Suspiria. So, yeah, I'm liking these um, uh, movie releases or Mubai or however you say it. Really good. So yeah, nice slip as well. Ten ninety nine. Really looking forward to watching this movie. Okay, then we move on to the four K. So the first one I bought was just a standard title. It was In the Heart of the Sea. I haven't seen this movie. I don't mind Ron Howard as a director, and I like a sort of creature feature, men against the elements sort of story. I don't know why I never got around to watch it when it first came out, but the cast is great. You know, Chris Hemsworth, Killian Murphy, Tom Holland. Um, Ben was sure, so yeah, really looking forward to watching this one and driving in 4K for a tenner with a slip. I'm really happy. Could be tonight's viewing. Then I got this steel book of Shazam. Okay, so I cut the DC EU movies. Um, I didn't have Shazam, so I'm happy to get a 4K steel book. Um, £13.99. I know £28 was probably a bit excessive and you might be able to get it for about 25 maybe even 22 quid on Zavio Amazon, but I might be paying 40 and I don't think you'll get it quite that cheap. So, yeah, that's the 4K steelbook of Shazam. Okay, then these were my two sort of holy grail finds today. Um, so the first one I bought is the limited edition of Full Metal Jacket in 4K. Okay, so this was 1750 reduced from 35. It's got the usual book and disc poster, whatever. I won't bother opening this because it's a quite an old title. There's probably been millions of unboxings on YouTube in the past, so you know I won't waste your time. But yeah, so that's a really good price, £17.50. All right, then, then keeping within the Stan Kubrick um sort of oh, I don't know what the word is, Stanley Kubrick uh collection or whatever i got this bad boy all right this was reduced from 50 quid to 25 quid okay first of all i thought it was an absolute super duper deal because i thought all the movies were in 4k so i thought all these films here would all be in 4k but when i got home and had a closer look into it it's actually only the shining and the space oddity is 4k the rest of blu-rays but that's fine because a i thought i dropped the bollock because i went and bought a full metal jacket when that's in here but now i don't need to worry about that now because i'd rather have it on 4k in a limited edition so that's fine and um, a Clockwork Orange I probably would have liked to have in 4K. But I'm happy with the Blu-ray. I do like the film. I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of it, though. So the Blu-ray will suit me fine. I've never seen Eyes Wide Shut. 
uh, Barry Lyndon, Space Odyssey or Lolita. So they'll all be first time views. So I thought this set was really good. I mean, I thought it was superb when I thought they were all 4Ks for 25 quid. But even the fact that some of them are Blu-rays, you know, I imagine this retailed for a good whack when it first came out. I mean, it's a really hefty set. I mean, there's everything you get there. All right. So that's everything I got. So if you want to turn off now, you can. But I am going to do a quick unboxing of this Stanley Kubrick box set. Um, I want to have a look at it myself. So um, we're going to just tuck into him now. I'll just turn the cellophane off, off camera. Okay, so there's the front, the spine, the back. I don't know if it's got a J card or whether it's stuck through. Yeah, it's a J card. There. And then you've got your bottom and your top. There's nothing on there. I'm going to try and remove the J card, but it feels like it might be really crammed on there. Okay, so it's just got like the name of all the films in a shiny black metallic writing. Um, what is it's got HDR10, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos for the movies that are in 4K. So I slide him open. All right, the box is lovely and thick as always with these top class releases so there's nothing wrong with that then inside then it's all red with a nice black k you've got all your films there and there and there all right so so this first one then is just like an envelope and it's got some things inside let's have a look oh, he's still a bit there so it's got just some sort of old-fashioned movie posters, the old-school posters. So that's pretty cool, actually. Old-school posters of all the movies. Yeah, I can't fault that. I'll have a proper look at those later. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen half of them, so, you know, maybe seeing the poster art might give me a push to watch them. So there's that. Then you've got this booklet here, then, a Life in Pictures. And then this is just going to be all oh, pictures of Stanley Kubrick throughout his career. And the movies he's done stuff like that so that'll be that and then you just got the films and they're all individually packed in this um in these red cases so that's Kubrick a life in picture so that's just a documentary there's the back there if you want to have a quick read of that so I definitely look forward to watching that then we got eyes wide shut okay there's the back if you want to have a quick read of the specs or anything I'd have to pause it if I'm going too fast Here's Full Metal Jacket. Obviously got the 4K today, so probably will never end up watching this version, but that's okay. And again, there's the specs if you want to have a little look. Okay, then we got the Shining. I already own this in 4K, still in the cellophane, so I may trade it in now um, and just stick with this one. So this is two discs, the 4K and the Blu-ray. Again, there's your specs on the back. If you want to pause him up and have a quick read. Okay, then we got Barry Lyndon. I've never seen this film. It's the Blu-ray. Okay, and then again, your specs on the back, if you want to have a little look. Okay, and then we, we got a Clockwork Orange. Again, I kind of wish this was in 4K, but I'm not going to double dip it, because I'm not the biggest fan, so this will just have to do. All right, there's your back again, if you want to have a little pause and see the specs, or if you've got fast eyes. <laughs> Catch it there. Here's a Space Odyssey. Never seen this film. I heard mixed things on it, but I'm definitely going to watch it. So this is three discs, 4K and Blu-ray. So that's really nice. Tuck into this one. i got a feeling this has got a really long running time. Um, so yeah, it'll probably be a Sunday afternoon job. But yeah, there we are then. So that's Wicked, that one. And then we got Lolita, the last one. So these boxes are lovely that they're in, lovely and shiny. And they've all got sort of images on there that relate to the film. This one has got the shades, the heart-shaped shades. Never seen this film, though, so I don't know how that does relate to the movie. But, um, yeah, so there's the back of that one, so you can read the specs and who's in it and stuff. All right, then, so that's it for that Kubrick box set. I'm really looking forward to tucking into some of those films, and you may catch my thoughts on some of my weekly Watch Diary videos that I'm a little bit behind on because of the bank holiday and Easter holiday, but we're going to be back on it um, this week, back on top form. All right, I've been Bumper. Thanks for watching. Bye.